Daryl Braithwaite, the horse is playing while the summer rain hits the tin roof, his definition of Australian culture. Ooh, okay. Uh, it is amazing when, when you, we are doing it and all the crowd are singing. It's like a euphoric experience, but, and it allows us to do that on myself because I just stand there and go, this is quite incredible. And you see a lot of happiness on the people. And so you start to imagine why they are happy and the person behind them and the whole setting. So uh, that tin roof on a summer day with the rain, it does fit, fit the picture most definitely. I just love me some Daryl Braithwaite, ride it horse daddy. Okay. Uh, what language was... Uh, no, that's fine. Hi, Daryl Braithwaite here, and I'll be reacting to tweets that I've received about that song called The Horses. Daryl Braithwaite comes on. My brain, don't say it, don't say, don't say it. Me, because that's the way it's going to be, little darling. We'll be riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> really. I mean... Her brain, his brain, but, or both of them, both talking together, their brain hurts. I reckon just ignore it, the chorus. Just cut it out, go straight to the next verse. Don't sing it, it's easy. I was today years old when I learned it was called the horses rather than horses. Yes, no, it is called the horses. And uh, I've had some people over the last couple of years go, Oh, you're going to play horses? I go, no. I said, we're going to play the horses. Oh, the, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder if Daryl Braithwaite ever gets sick of being introduced for TV interviews with clips from the horses, like he's only ever done one thing in his whole life. Well, see, that, that that's an interesting thing. It's like, it's all young people, uh, maybe from 18 to 22. They have to put up with, two or three songs before we get to the horses. I just want to let you know that I did start in 1970 and I have other songs. <laughs> it's without doubt the best song ever written in the history of all things musical. Wow, I appreciate that, but I, I don't think it is. The, it, it, it's a, an unbelievable song, but it, it's, I think you've gone a little bit too far, but I, I appreciate it, thank you. Every Aussie, knows that the horses is always the last and best song to play in the club. Uh, I, I have heard this before, um, but people have sent me videos of like, and that, it's really funny because they, they do them when like, ah, and the camera's sort of going, yeah, look at this. And then finally you get, that's a, and so um, I have experienced that through video it's quite um endearing to see the people in in the pub sort of giving it you know giving it their best shot really which is great if you play daryl braithwaite's the horses at 11 58 50 p.m on new year's eve that first that's the way it's going to be little darling we'll be riding on the horses yeah yeah we'll play right as the clock strikes midnight start off your new year right my god well wherever that came from that yeah that that makes sense that's lovely i mean i sort of look at that and i think they've gone to a lot of trouble to sort of work it out methodically maybe 11 58 and 50 i'll give it a go and just see and i'll bring in the new year god that'd be good and here i was thinking australia's national anthem was daryl braithwaite's the horses well, I, I've never, I, I've never looked at it as being the, the national anthem ever. I don't like our national anthem as much as what some people do, but I do like the, the Seekers Australia. When people say, oh, how do you feel about it being the national anthem? I go, I do feel a bit embarrassed by that. Is The Horses by Daryl Braithwaite an iconic song all over the world, or is that only an Aussie thing? It's only really, uh, I think, appreciated here in, um, in Australia. When I released something in America back in 19, 
92, 93, it was uh, Higher Than Hope was the first single. Higher Than Hope didn't go as well as they expected. So then the next song which they were going to release, which was going to be The Horses, they didn't release it. So we will never know, but um, I'm sure it'll work in other places around the world. <laughs> Take me back to 2018, when I was at Falls and screaming the lyrics to the horses because Daryl Braithwaite was performing. Well, I, I would like to take you back to that year. It was one of the, the events, I think, that myself and my band and crew will remember for until we die. I think we were the first vintage act that they took a chance on, you know, putting on. Falls was sort of like our big day out. Surprisingly, it left us with, you know, a smile on our face. It was just um, amazing, it really was. Fuck yeah. I say we nominate a time all whack on Daryl Braithwaite's horses and sing our little Australian hearts out together apart. Yeah, okay. We nominate a time all, a time all whack on. Okay, that's, I guess that's lovely. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Maybe that's the next step. You know, in COVID-19, my guitarist came up with this idea many years ago of that we go to people's places and just play for them. And we were going to call it the uninvited tour. Even though they didn't want us, we just go in and play. And this sounds like it. We could go to hospitals or places like that where they don't expect that you're going to show up. But that would be actually a good idea. I'll keep that in mind. All the tweets that I've read out, it, it, it leaves you with a good feeling that the people still like you. That's comforting. To everyone watching that is a supporter, we'll see you, my band and I, we'll do the horses and we'll do a couple of new songs as well. I recorded love songs back in December last year. If you want to listen to the song, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. It's worth a look, it really is.